<sighs> okay, okay. I think there was a job from a long time ago. To the next person that leaves the vault, you can be of some use to my group and our cause. Come to this place just west of Rivet City as soon as you can. Picture enclosed. I have some work for you that might prove to be a lucrative endeavor. Sam DeCombe. And they're going out of the wasteland. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to take that job. But I'm going to have to tell Moira. Moira? Can we talk? You should probably I... leave, you know. Wait, did you hear- You should probably leave, you know. No, Moira, I need to talk to you, okay? Can, can we go talk? Please? Hey there. Hi. Junk is my business. Moira, I did something bad, okay? I- it was for a good reason, I promise. But the Brotherhood's gonna be after me now. All right, I need I need to leave the wasteland. It's only a matter of time until they figure out it was me. Okay, so you're gonna have to stay here and take care of the shop and the kids. I'll I'll be back someday. I promise. I promise I'll be back. But they're gonna be after me. Okay, so I have to leave. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I promise it was for a good reason. I'm, I'm sorry, but I have to go. If anyone asks where I am, just say I got abducted by aliens or something. I love you. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, okay, so that, that job. I have to go by Rivet City. I hope they're still looking for someone. I don't care what it is as long as it gets me out of here. Alright, I gotta head off to that area over there and meet with some people, see if they'll still take me for the job. Just gotta get out of the capital wasteland. Ah, shit. The Brotherhood are over there. Project Purity. I'll swim for it. They won't be able to spot me in the water. Ah, uh, yeah. Good idea to bring this stuff suit. It's the only way I'm gonna be able to escape without them noticing. I just hope the brother gets better without Big Slee and Maxon. <sighs> I... I think Amanda might hate me for this if she were still alive. Oh, that's the shack. Wait a minute. Outcast? Wait, you're not who we thought you were. What are you in here looking around for anyway? Um, I I should ask the same thing. Who are you? Protector Noah Newman, formerly of the Fort Independence Outcast Regiment. My unit was excommunicated by Kasdan over a petty disagreement over how we were, and I quote, Wasting our time snuffing out slaver camps and bringing the kids back to train into new knights. Our numbers are thin, and he'll never admit it because that would call his leadership into question. So don't waste your time asking Kazan about our unit because he'll never acknowledge it. Wait. <laughs> so you betrayed the outcasts. The outcasts who betrayed the capital chapter of the Brotherhood 
who betrayed the actual Brotherhood. You're triple traitors. In anyway, anyway, uh, why are you guys sniffing at the shack in particular? We're looking for a man that is broadcasting information regarding a pre-war facility that is in our best interest to locate and secure. We believe that while he may not know the exact location, he knows the general area to begin searching. He is traveling with three other people, whom we do not know the identity or appearance of. We followed you here from near Rivet City because we assumed he might still be here. Clearly, he is not. Oh wow, you were surprisingly forward with that information. What do you want me to do about it? We want you to keep an eye out for him. His name is Samuel Decombe. This is what he looks like. If you see him, keep his location in mind. We'll come and find you. Don't bother trying to find us. Uh-huh. Huh. <laughs> yeah, sure. As if I would ever help the outcasts. Or outcasts of the outcasts. Outcasts, outcasts. Uh, yeah, that... That's the guy who was offering the job. Hell, I'm not telling them squat. Where are they? They said they were gone, but I can't imagine they wouldn't leave something behind. Oh, a note. Whoops. Sorry about that. Those Brotherhood wannabes have been skulking around here for a while. We had to leave. We're headed to Paradise Falls now. Picture of the meeting areas in the register. Make sure you're not followed. Sam Decombe. Near Paradise Falls, though? That's concerning. Just wanted to get out of the fucking wasteland. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Corinthians 6.10 Oh, uh, well, that's the, a Bible verse I'm not used to seeing. <sighs> Sorry, Timmy, you stole a loaf of bread, so now you gotta burn in hell forever. Alright, I guess I gotta head to Paradise Falls. I better sneak around Project Purity. I definitely do not want anyone to see me. Yeah, here's the secondary meeting place. Hello? She arrives at last. Uh, yeah. Who are you? Those are some big guns you've got. Ah, you finally arrived. We've been waiting for you. How did you know I'd even show up? I could have just as easily not taken the job. I call it a gut feeling. You seem like the type to chase a real challenge. Even if you didn't, we would have found some other way slander to do the job eventually. Of course, no one could have done the job as thoroughly as you, if what we've heard about you is correct. Oh, so you waited until I was ready. I guess this is convenient for both of us. What do you mean by heard about me, exactly? Those two beside me, armed and at the ready, didn't tip you off? What, you thought they were protection from raiders? Slavers? Bah! They're here because I need protection from you. What? What do you mean protection from me? Anyone who's brave enough to take on Alistair Tenpenny is clearly someone who is not to be trifled with. You disabled the bomb at Megaton and fought off countless squads of talent company marks for it. At least that's my understanding of it. Um, actually Roy killed Tenpenny. Are you still angry at the bigots? Tenpenny and his pack of Elias wannabes are in for a real treat soon enough. And, uh, yeah, I've probably killed at least a hundred Talon Company mercs by now. Uh, anything else you've heard about me? Your actions in Big Town are also held in high regard by the boss. 
We know that you managed to rescue two of their own from the mutant camp at the old police station in Germantown. You charged into that camp facing death, and you gave it the middle finger. You're someone that gets things done, regardless of the risk. Glad to see you're alive, Shorty. Me too. Now let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, let's go. I mean, yeah, it was just the right thing to do. I guess if that's what your boss cares about, then I'd like to meet him. What are you getting at here, though? We have a job for you, and we're willing to pay well. Should you choose to accept the offer, we can get started immediately. I can't tell you more until we're safely away from the capital. You've been followed since you started following the breadcrumbs. Followed? By by the Brotherhood, or you mean those outcast jerk-offs? Those outcast jerk-offs are an elite unit of soldiers. Probably the best of the best that the Brotherhood has to offer. <laughs> you should also keep in mind that the man you met, Protector Newman, also has two brothers. Why is this important, you ask? Those brothers are also heavily involved in the original Brotherhood chapter, as well as the Enclave. The reason you should be nervous is that if all three of those guys are involved, then we're going to have all sorts of problems. Now, down to business. Are you going to help us out, or do you need more time to make a decision? Uh, as long as it gets me out of the wasteland, to hell with it. What else am I going to do with my life? Let's do this. Excellent. Meet us back at the original hideout. Our boat is parked just near the dock. Okay, I'll, I'll head there, alright? Sup? <sighs> well, I guess I can go back to where I was originally. As long as it gets me the fuck out of this wasteland, it, it'll be okay. I'm sorry, Moira. I'll be back to see you and the kids soon, okay? Said they had their boat here? Oh, there it is. Looks like a good boat. Oh, no. Who? Exception to work. I will handle this from here. Stand guard. So, you what? have been tracing around the wasteland looking for Samuel Dacombe, is that right? Oh, shit. You seem to also be working with the Brotherhood Outcasts. That splinter unit headed by my brother, no less. Did you really think getting involved with Noah's unit was going to lead to any other outcome than this? No matter, we'll take you back to our post for questioning. Surely you have your reasons for your involvement in this, but now we want to know why. Get the dirt! Oh, fuck. Ugh, cowards. We'll settle this later. You're the fucking coward! Nice shot. Hey, you're gonna let him get away? I figured you'd take a second shot. You okay? Let's head inside the boat. Sam and the others will be here momentarily. Catch a nap or something. It's gonna be a long journey. Uh, Alright, fine. Let's go. Finally waking up. Yeah, what's what's going on? Enjoyed the trip. Sorry, we didn't get to the boat in time to clear the area before you got there. Damn, Enclave soldiers. Both them and that outcast unit had been following you around from Fucking the start. Fucking stragglers. Not a bright lot. They actually took off running when you opened fire on them. You would think the vaunted Enclave would have a bigger backbone than that. Nah, those guys were just low-level grunts. No soldier worth their salt would just take off running when someone starts firing on them. That's true. Except for when they watch their buddy get their head blown off with a laser rifle. Yeah. How exactly did you manage that, Eyes? Yeah, that was probably an unlucky shot. I might have hit the power source. Just wanted to scare them off. We should be arriving any minute now. This trip was starting to drag on. 
Good thing Tank's good at fishing. Being a helmsman, not so much. Oh, shit! Unacceptable. I should have you thrown into the tunnels for this. The Ooh. fucking boat's over 200 years old. Obviously, something's gonna break eventually. What happened? Oh, no. The boat. I really feel like one of us should probably put the fire out. You're either going to fix this yourselves or give us the caps to do it. Hold on. Give me a minute, will you? I think we can resolve this without drastic measures. Uh, are you sure about that? Oh. Can you help us out with this? This fat slob isn't gonna let us off the hook unless someone shuts him up. Hey, I heard that. Ah, oh, just talk to him. Maybe you can cool off the bacon. I guess Maya, Sam, right? I think I have someone you can talk to about our current predicament. Mind walking over here? Uh, hello? You owe the town of Meritaport a lot of caps to fix the damage your boat caused to our dock. What? What are you talking about? You heard me, kid. Cough him up. Or would you rather partake in some forced labor and fix it yourself? The hell? I don't even know what's going on. All I know is that you're the only one not talking, and I'm out of a hell of a lot of caps to fix all the stuff that that boat destroyed. I, I, I didn't even do anything. Everyone in your group looked at you when I asked who was responsible for this, so all I can assume is that you were the one responsible. Simple. That's tautology. What are you even talking about? Now, unless you want to have fun with back-breaking labor, I think we need to come to an arrangement here. 47,000 caps should cover the damages. 47,000 caps? No way, you can't be this unreasonable. <laughs> what the hell? I was messing with you the entire time. Welcome to Meritaport, my friends. Eh, don't worry about it. That old dock wasn't even used. It was going to fall apart anyways. Your boat just sped up the process, it seems. Anyway, enjoy your stay in our fine town. There's a bar and restaurant on the waterside. If you need to stay somewhere, the common house is nearby. All right, the people, fucking, nothing to see here. Just move along. good welcome that was. That was such a mean trick to pull. So, that just happened. My head hurts right now. Shit. I need a drink. I'm going to that bar over there. Okay. Stupid ass piece of shit. We'll it be is at the getting bar. late. I need to talk to you, so head over there as soon as possible. Ugh, fuck it. <sighs> Fine, sure. It's getting late, I guess I'll just head there too. Fucking mayor and his fucking town, 47 fucking thousand caps, what the fuck? <sighs> what a welcome. Hey, eyes. Chains. Sam. Let's go talk. Oh, hi. Howdy there. Welcome to the Seaside Tavern in Meredith Poet. Enjoy your visit. Meridaport. Okay. What's going on with you, Ice? This place kind of gives me a homely feeling for some reason. Yeah, that's a place I haven't seen in years. Can't really even remember what home is. Ugh. Yeah, it's going to be a while before I can go back home. You, Chains? What? I just wanted to know how you were doing after that crash. Oh, who are you? Hey there! Do you have an inventory I can check out? 
Sorry, hon. Since I'm not in my shop right now, clearly I can't get to my stock. I'll be more than happy to let you browse when the shop is open. My hours are 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day. Feel free to stop by. Oh, you were in a different shop. Wait, are you trans or is that... Uh, whatever it is, it's awesome. Bye. Bye, girl. Bye. Who else is here? Hi. What do you need? Uh, is there anything I can do to help you? The water treatment plant is in tip-top shape, but the pipes are still leaky pieces of crap. I try to head out to fix the leaks where I can, but I never seem to get them all. If you can work a wrench, I have something for you to do. Oh, sure, I've done this before. Uh, how many leaks are there? If the pressure gauge is correct, my best guess is that there are three of them around town. There aren't many exposed pipes in town, so it shouldn't be too hard. The pipes that are buried almost never leak, but when they do, it becomes a town effort to dig them up. I don't expect you to do that. Okay, uh, can't you fix the pipes? I could, but I also have to stay here and watch this purifier. Besides, i got enough spare money sitting around that I could just pay someone to assist. Alright, well, I'll keep it in mind. Just remember, I'll pay generously for your efforts. Thank you. Uh, what did you need me to do again? The pipes are still leaking around town. Find the leaks and patch the pipes if you can. There should be three leaks. Okay, I'll take care of it. Bye. Don't get yourself killed out there. I'll try not to. Uh, hi. Stop by my shop sometime. I got some good weapons in stack. Uh, yeah, sure. Hey, Tank. Man, give me a minute to get hammered before you get the sledgehammer, too. Fine. Who are you? Welcome to the Seaside Tavern. Need a drink? Or some food? Possibly a stem pack? You're at the right place. Oh, so you're the bartender. Uh, what's up with that robot? Oh, that's just Pete McShooty, our resident security robot. He watches the place when I'm not around. He doesn't handle the inventory, though. The last time I tried to let him do that, he vaporized the traitor. It was real fun trying to explain to Mayor Bailey why the place smelled like burnt Meyerlurk for a week. I figured it'd be easier just to disable his trading function and have him be a peacekeeper. Oh, okay. Uh, anything else about him? Again, his name is Pete. He runs the place when I'm not around. Alright. Uh, can I get an order? Sure, take a look at the stock and feel free to buy what you like. Bye. Come back again soon now. Hey! Patrolling this dock makes me wish for a raider attack. Just so I have something to do. Well, it's better than a nuclear winter at least. Hey Sam, you wanted to talk? So, newbie, finally decided to join us for a round, yeah? I suppose you're wondering just what in the blue hell is going on, and how you got dragged into this mess. Well, I'll be more than happy to explain. To put it simple, on this island, we believe there is a high security bank that hasn't been cracked since 2077. We want to know what's inside of it. It's rumored that there are loads of pre-war artifacts and high-value pieces of technology inside the bank vault. Now, to reiterate, we believe the vault hasn't been cracked since before the war. I'm sure there's plenty of clues on this island that will help us. However, since our genius navigator decided to shipwreck us in this armpit of a village, we're in a bind. So. I want you to go and find a way to the other side of the ravine that doesn't involve us taking a swim to the other side of the island. So it's a heist. Um, not the most moral of work, but I'm not the most moral of people anymore. It sounds like it'll be fun. So uh, where do I come in? You had a pit boy that could use the navigational data that I obtained to help us find the shortest route to the island. I just decided to keep you on because you seem like a good kid and could use some extra caps. And believe me, there'll be loads more of those. When we're done here. Anyway, 
take eyes with you. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to assist you with his uh, technical knowledge. Okay, fine, fine, uh, but it's getting late, so I'll probably spend the night. Glad you could finally meet up with us. So I'm sure Sam's told you that we're trying to find a way to the other side of the island. Well, first, we have to see if anyone knows where exactly the bank is on the island. And I think I may have that covered already. The barkeep, Natalie, told me that we could ask her father about the bank, since he would be the only decent source of information in this town. Then we'll head up to the old comm tower on the north end of town. The guards there may be able to help us access the rest of the island. Okay, fine, but uh, maybe in the morning? It's kind of getting late. Well then, off with ya. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you later. I don't have a place to sleep yet, and I don't want to stumble in the dark. I'm... I'm just gonna drink for a while. This is why you bring your own vodka. Woo! Uh, hey, what... What are you doing here? I gotta get to work. Come on, eyes. Let's go. Oh, there's one of those leaks. The pipe appears to be damaged, but the source of the leak isn't immediately clear. It'll take a master plumber to fix it. Repair of 30 or higher required. Okay, I guess I'll try to fix it. All right, that worked. I need to keep on the lookout for any other leaks around town. How you doing, Eyes? Something up. So what's your story? My story? Uh, well, I don't really remember my birth father. My mother took my brother and me away for a couple years, but she went missing, leaving us to fend for ourselves. My brother, Jeremy, was kidnapped when he was nine years old. So, basically, I had to grow up and learn to survive on my own at a very young age. I made my way to the capital and joined the Brotherhood. I wasn't cut out to be a knight, so I trained to be a scribe. I left the Brotherhood when I was 22, and I've been on my own since. I joined up with Sam's group a few months back and used my connections in the Brotherhood to find nav data for Maddox Island. And, that's basically it, really. Oh, another ex-Brotherhood person. Me too. Uh, any thoughts on this situation? Do we really have the time for this? Okay, okay. Are you sure? Not much at all, really. Well, where did you get your nickname? It's a joke that Tank made about my glasses at stock. <laughs> Four eyes just became eyes. I wish there was more I could tell you, but that's it, really. That's fucking stupid. What you got? Sure, I'll be the pack mule today, I suppose. Not yet. Any thoughts? Just a reminder, I can patch you up if we're out in the middle of nowhere and you decide it's a good idea to rush a pack of death claws. Oh, Just thank you. Just give me a hundred caps and I can use some of the supplies I've scavenged to heal you fully. No, as disappointing as that must be, I'm not doing it for free. If you're good at something, you shouldn't do it for free. Okay, fine. Any other thoughts? Kind of wishing I was in a lab right now running experiments. That certainly sounds preferable to being on this island. Ugh, let's let's go. Let's hit the road, or what's left of it, rather. Yep. It is nice being out of the capital wasteland for what it's worth. <sighs> All right, let's explore town. Uh, hi. Hi. Stop by my clinic if you need medical assistance. Okay, will do. Uh, hello? Ooh, terminal. <sighs> Look... I'd say it's beneath me, but let's be real, it's not.
Welcome, Aiden. Notes on the locals. Oh, wow. So I can get this guy's perspective on everyone in town. Mayor Herbert Bailey. Pignose cheapskate prides himself over keeping up with a town that is held together by little more than duct tape and a prayer. If he really wanted to make something of himself, he would go clean up Clearbank and move the town there, and let this dump get wiped out by a storm. Would be doing the island a favor. I didn't realize that this was such a bad location. Ralph Moritz. This old soldier wannabe owes me 1312 caps for drunkenly smashing my shop up three years ago, and his idiot daughter won't pay up for them. Already asked that useless mayor to take care of him, yet that lazy t won't do anything about it. Natalie Moritz. Miss Hard pub owner refuses to remove that eyesore bar of those stalls in front of her store. It's not like the bazaar even exists anymore. If she doesn't stop undercutting my shop by throwing more stuff on her menu, I might have to burn that stack to the ground. Fucking hell, I'm getting a theme here. This guy hates everyone. Bethany Moore. I've been funneling money into her clinic for the past two years now, yet she's never turned a profit. Seems rather unethical to expect her to make loads of caps off of it than demand payment, but this is the real world, not a video game. At least she doesn't tolerate addicts. <sighs> a fucking clinic isn't supposed to be profitable, you asshole. David Moore. This schmoozy b refuses to quit following his wife around from place to place like she's in need of special care. Sorry you failed at your job and your old wife got passed around that raider camp until someone had the human decency to kill her. Aiden. I need to remember that name. Diggory Virgo. Paranoid asshole thinks he can keep this town armed with his little gun store, like half these nameless troglodytes could even afford a gun, let alone hold it straight without hurting themselves. Then fucking teach them how to? Rene Traverso. Fuck you. That one's personal. Loitering bum. Don't let anyone drink whatever the f he's offering people. Full of strong hallucinogenic drugs. And the drink is too. Wow. Big Al Albert Young. The only decent person around here. Resident token flamboyant clothes shop owner. Still don't trust him. I actually expected a lot worse. Okay. Louis Beck. Thinking of taking care of his myself since that lazy fat f Bailey won't. F***er owes me 5,000 caps as payment for the startup of his failed chems business. Of course, he didn't think twice about screwing me out of the money. Wow, if you keep lending money on bad investments, that sounds like a you problem. Oh, looks like that will unlock the safe on the floor. Hmm. While I'm taking your fucking caps. Eyes, you saw nothing. So, this is the clinic? Oh, hi! Hi, welcome to my clinic. Did you need medical treatment? Uh, nah, I'm... Good, but, uh, do you sell chems? No, I don't sell anything like that. I don't carry it here because I don't want to create another addict. I lost a parent to that stuff and I don't want the same thing to happen to anyone else. I can sell you things like Radaway and Stim Packs, but no harder chems. However, I can give you something for addiction if you would like that instead. Mm, Alright, well, at least you sell the treatment. Bye. Be safe. You too. She seems to mean well. Oh, kids. Uh, Lorenzo's wares. Oh, uh, hey. Welcome to the Meridport General Store. How can I help you? 
Uh, let me see what you have in stock. Fine. Uh, I'm good. Wait a minute. You're Aiden, aren't you? You would be wise to not be such a dick to your customers. And you would be wise to stop being a wise ass. I have the only supply shop in a hundred mile radius. Who else are you going to go to? I can find ammo in mailboxes, dude. You're not that special. Yep. <sighs> Fucker. Kid. Well, this place is um, not in good shape. H hello? Spare some change for a person in need? I. Uh, yeah, sure, I can spare a few caps. How's this? Bless you. May good things come your way. Of course. Um, oh, hi! Spare some change for a person in need. Aw, oh, you're both down on your luck? That's alright. Yeah, I can spare a few caps. Here. Kick fucking ass! Thanks a lot, kid. No problem. Oh, there's some up here. Oh, hi! Are you Natalie's dad? Who are you, and what are you doing in my house? Uh, I, I was looking for information about the Rocky Cape Bank. Oh, great. Someone else wants to walk into that bear trap. I guess you're dead set on getting in the vault, so I'm not going to hold you up. There's a town to the north, Clearbank. The bank's there. Don't know too much about getting the vault open, though. Have fun figuring that Rubik's Cube out. If you really want to get to the other side of the ravine, there's a house near the old comm tower with a bomb shelter underneath. The guard at the top of the tower will let you in. Don't know where the key for the bunker is, though. Might still be in the house. Hell if I know. Oh, thank you. Uh... Do you know where I could find information on how to get inside the vault? So did everything. I just say fly right over your head or what? I just told you I don't know how to crack it. That's on you. Well... Now get out of my house. Fine, fine. Mostly useless, as I expected. At least we got a general location out of him, if nothing else. Anyway, let's head on up to the comm tower and find a way to the other side of the island. Alright, alright. Geez, even if you don't know how to crack it, you might know someone who does. Oh, that looks like the guard tower. I guess I'll head up there when I'm ready. Oh, that's a really nice tree. I wonder how they managed to get it to grow here. Maybe the entire town was built around it. It's very beautiful, and they even put a bench. Hmm, must be fishing out there. Uh, these look bigger. Oh, are these the common houses? 
So it's like Megaton, not everyone has their own home. But at least there are beds for everyone. Another leak. I better fix it. I'll keep an eye out for another leak. Should only be one left. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, it's the Dark Smasher again. <laughs> I kid, I kid. What do you need? That wasn't a very funny joke. <sighs> so what do you actually do in this town? Me? Well, I mainly just oversee the town's finances and manage the security forces. I used to oversee the weekly bazaar in the town square as well. It was a glorious thing indeed. We used to have all sorts of visitors from different settlements as far as the Commonwealth. I even recall one guy asking me about some android that escaped to the capital. Of course, there's no such thing as androids. Is there? Anyway, the whole bizarre idea kind of died off because the vendors can't agree on anything, and things around here have slowed down. Ah, uh, right, yeah, androids can't be real. Sure. Uh, do you have any work for me, or anyone you know of in town that needs help? If you're looking to make a few caps, head down to the water processing plant near Dock 2. Old Nate Takai is always looking for volunteers. There's also Aiden Lorenzo in his general store in the town central corridor. He'll trade with you. And if you need medical attention, stop by Bethany Moore's clinic behind the general store. She's our best doctor by far. Just... Avoid the couple that lives in front of the general store. They're no good. Oh, uh, they're just down on their luck. I, I have to go now, okay? Well, I'll be seeing you then. I hope Bethany can convince them to take some fixer or something. <sighs> of course that jerk is the mayor. Uh, hi. Natalie always leaves her produce outside for anyone to take. What a sweetheart. Better than Aiden, that's for sure. Ugh, yeah. Aiden's a jerk. Oh, there's a path along the wall. Oh, uh, hi. Who are you? I could go for a beer right now. There's literally one on the table over there if you want it. I guess this is the port. Open sea. I gotta find that last pipe. There's another leak.
there. I think I fixed all the leaks. All right, guys, let's head to the guard tower. Wow, there it is. It's pretty big. It's a little, little ranch house over here, too. Uh, hi. You don't have the authorization to go through there. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I guess not. I guess I'll go talk to the guy that's in the tower. Oh, Enclave crates. Guess it's everything they've managed to scavenge. Anyone here? Maybe up here. Oh, shit. Careful. It'll fall right off. Oh, hey. Why are you up here? State your business. Uh, I wanted to use the access tunnel under the tower. Not going to happen. You need Mayor Bailey's approval to travel through the tunnel. Only certain persons currently have the authorization. Talk to him if you want to pass through. Really? <sighs> Fine. I'll go talk to the fucking mayor. Couldn't have told me this before I climbed all the way up here. I guess I'll go sleep in the common house tonight. I'll go see the mayor in the morning. Good night, eyes. What are you doing? Let's go talk to the mayor. See if we can get access. Oh, hey, Mayor. Well, hello, Doc Smasher. What can I do for you? God damn it, do you have to keep calling me that? <sighs> it's fine. Look, I need access to the tunnel underneath the guard tower. Access to the tunnel, you say? Well, it costs money. 100 caps. Are you fucking kidding me? Fine. Here. Thanks. That'll go into the town fund. Here's the access pass. Take it back to the guard tower and they'll let you through. Okay. At least it's not 47,000 caps. I still think that was a bad joke. <sighs> I better check in with Nate to let him know that I fixed those leaks. Oh, hey. I fixed all the pipes I could find. Great work. The pressure's back up in the plant. Thank you kindly. Now, I do have another favor to ask of you. Those pipes will burst again. It's just the nature of the beast around here. You have any scrap metal on hand? I'll buy it off of you. There's probably still tons on this island that hasn't been scavenged yet. Keep the scrap metal coming, and I'll keep the caps coming. Oh, wow, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Back to the guard tower.
The mayor's a jerk, but this town seems pretty nice. <sighs> all right, after climbing all the way back up here, I have the fucking authorization. I'm on duty. Make it quick. Here. Mayor Bailey gave me this pass. Yep, that looks correct. I'll radio down to my guys at ground level to unlock the door for you. So I don't even need to get the key from you and bring it down, no. You just needed to allow me access. Fucking... <sighs> Fucking local government guards fucking keeping me from going in the fucking tunnel. Fucking climb up that fucking tower. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Raylan, let us know. Go on through. Okay. I guess the tunnel would go underneath. But is there... Ah, uh, no. It's all blocked off. Okay, just need to get through the tunnels down here. Oh, some scrap metal. The fuck? This basement's huge. The old man wasn't kidding. Shelter is huge. Yeah. It's like a series of basements locked together. Ah, sewers. Great. Just my luck. Fucking hate sewers. Oh, and ghouls. Even better. They're the super irradiated kind. There! Ah, nothing I can't handle. Glad that's over with. Yeah, me too. But I bet there's more. Yep. The glow really gives them away. think we should go that way. What? Why? What the fuck? Now I'm curious. What? Who keeps these lit? Oh, fuck. Time to die! Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, shit, reloading. <sighs> Over with. 
Oh, fuck. So glad I had the saline blaster. I have a feeling that a single hit from one of these would have killed me. That's how fucking big they looked. Oh, a footlocker. Anything good? Ooh, nice. Oh, hey, see, we got to where we were going. Oh. So this tunnel comes out at the highway on the other side of the ravine. And now we know how to get to the other side. Jesus, we're finally out of those tunnels. I didn't think we'd ever get out. In any case, Sam should be pleased that he won't have to go for a swim. Yep, I guess we should get back to the bar now. Yeah, Sam will want to get over here as quickly as possible.